Hey guys, what's up? So, just got back from the store and just picked up a new Raspberry Pi 4, um, the 1 gig model. I don't need a lot of RAM to upgrade my Octoprint. So, I actually need 5 gigahertz Wi Fi on both my printers because I've actually upgraded my firewall and I've only run a 5 gigahertz network. So, um, let me open this up. Yes. Uh, all right. This is a new Raspberry Pi 4, and this is actually a Ras Raspberry Pi 3 they have next to me. And all these are actually running uh, OctoPrint already. So let me show you this real fast. So I currently have OctoPrint running on a Raspberry Pi 1 B Plus. Then I have a Raspberry 2 B, and then a Raspberry Pi. Uh, 3B, 3B uh, plus, 3B plus, and then uh, this Raspberry Pi 4 here. So, I bought a extended heatsink for it. This is six bucks. All this stuff is over at Micro Center in uh, Tustin. So this is actually a bigger heatsink. This stuff definitely generates more heat. So, um, then I also got the official. This was ten bucks. The official Raspberry Pi 5.1 volt. Uh, charger and actually I did another video of uh, me uh, trying to figure out um, right, so I want to give you an update on the Raspberry Pi Octoprint project so it's been a couple days since I started the first video I had to get a couple parts to test this thing so I wanted to get a uh, HDMI to uh, micro HDMI adapter so I could hook up to my test monitor which you don't actually have to do but I like to be able to see what's on the screen, I can see what the IP address is, and you know, actually do some uh, editing if I have to do editing. Um, all right, so this is the box. I got this uh, thing verse, obviously. Um, I didn't make it, but I want to show you a, a future thing I'm going to do here. Like th this video is just going to get this thing to work with Aka Print, but I have another one of these uh, USB bucks, and this actually one is this case is designed for it, and this is designed to go in there. And what I can do is, it's 12 volt, but I'm actually going to, the difference is this is not going to be uh, converted to USB. It's going to be, be a, it's adjustable regulator. It's on my other one, there's an adjustable screen. I'll just open it up. Um, it's better, that way you can actually see it. Okay, so it's a 12 volt input, then an adjustable output with that little screw right there. It's a little pot. So I made another video with this my other previous USB buck and it wasn't putting enough power out. So I was getting the uh, lighting bolt, the voltage warning, and I verified that with the amp meter, volt meter in line. So I'm not going to do this in, in this video, but this USB buck, I'm actually going to have it the output go straight to the GPIO pins, 5 volt. So instead of actually going back around to the USB port, I'm going to just plug it right into the GPI, GPIO ports. And I'm probably going to have to put a little inline fuse because I was reading that this is there's no fusible link here. So I might put like a uh, some sort of inline fuse. What do they call the? Uh, I forget the uh, poly fuse. Right, let's see right. what happens. It's kind of the afternoon, so I might be getting a lot of sun here. The USB C. I do actually like the USB C connector. I can't. Micro USB is so fragile. You know? Right now I have it connected to my uh, gigabit ethernet right now and um, obviously my keyboard here, so. Alright, Raspberry Pi 4, first boot up. Hi right, guys, there it is, Octoprint, so. Yeah, this feels like it definitely is a lot, gets a lot hotter than the uh, Octopi 3 B+. So this fan cover does actually have provisions for a 40 millimeter fan. It is. I haven't got a fully box set up yet, but turned out a new uh, touch screen uh, case right there. Alright, <clears throat> Raspberry Pi 4 Octoprint.